Today is my last day as a sales rep. I've documented my time in this profession over the last three years, and I can honestly say it has been the best job I've ever had. It has been transformative professionally, personally, and financially, and I know for a fact that I am going to miss it. This job has given me the highest of the highs and the lowest of the lows. When I first started, I used to drive two hours to get in my territory each day just to get my teeth kicked in, and those drives home were some of the loneliest and discouraging times of my career, but it built a ton of resilience and character and we made it through. So for my last day, I thought it was only appropriate to start out like every other day before it, 4 a.m. wake up, head out to the gym and get after it. It sucked just as bad today as my first ever 4 a.m. workout, but when I think about my life, it has really just been a compilation of consistently doing things that I don't want to do in order to get to do things that I do want to do. Like seeing this beautiful puppy dog greet me at the door and enjoy my first cup of coffee with the family. Here, buddy. You want to say hi to the camera? You want to say bye? All right, guys, this is it. This is officially the last day, and I am legitimately sad. It's very rare to find a job that you actually love, but if you ever get the opportunity to work for a really good company as a sales representative, I cannot recommend it enough. Now I know most of you are probably wondering what's happening, what's going on, where am I headed to next? Well, of course I can't tell you at the beginning of the video, I gotta boost my watch time and pad my stats a little bit. But just hold tight, I gotta go try and sell some. guys, you know, I was going to treat myself to a nice gourmet Chick-fil-A sandwich, but I decided, you know what, it would be more appropriate if I go out like I came in with my old school meal prep, meal prep. got some cold turkey, rice, and corn. What else would you want? Waking up early, making waffles with a big cup of OJ. I don't got time for no debacles, I just tell them no way. With another vibe, I say my hello, it's gonna be a good day. I don't got time for feeling awful. All right, I apologize guys. It has been a hectic day in a good way. Just been running around like a madman, but got a few free minutes here. And the first thing I want to ask you is now that I'm not going to be driving as much, should I keep the road warrior or should I get a brand new, nice, shiny car? And I think it's worth it just to, uh, just to keep this thing and drive it to the wheels fall off. It's been the perfect car for a sales rep. Very dependable. Um, but man, I can't believe this is, this is it wrapping up my final day and it's scary to leave a profession that you've become very proficient at um, anytime you're kind of at the top of the game and you're considered you know an expert in that field it, it's tough to just say okay I want to walk away and try something new but I do know in the long term that it is the right decision I just looking back and you know thinking about all of the hours and all of the things that have gone on in the last few years in this job and how my life has changed. It's just been, I'm just blessed. I'm very, very fortunate to have had this experience and I'm glad I got to share it with y'all. I'm a okay. Waking up early, making waffles with a big cup of OJ. I don't got time for no debacles. I just tell them no way. With an Adam vibe, I say my hello. It's gonna be a good day. I'll admit this video was a little bit selfish. It was more for myself to have and to some people it might seem a little crazy that I'm emotionally attached to a job. But you know, I've been doing this for three, almost three and a half, maybe even closer to four years. Jeez, I can't remember. But I've been doing it for a while, you know, every day, waking up, working seven to seven, and I take a lot of pride in it. And a lot of people look down on salespeople and they think that they're less than and you know, you can need to go get a real job, but I've had, you know, jobs in other fields, as most of you know. I started in the accounting department and this is by far the you know the most challenging and rewarding job I've ever had in my life. So what are we gonna do next? Well, a little bit anticlimactic. Uh, I just took a promotion. I'll be um be 
a higher level salesperson. So I guess it's, is, it, is that trickery? Because I'm, you know, I, you know, I am no longer a sales representative. Um, you know, I guess different companies have different names for the role, but just. Um, more like enterprise sales. Um, so I'm super excited for it. Uh, it will be a little bit of what I do now and then a little bit, or I guess I should say a lot of it is gonna be different in terms of my day to day and, and what that will look like. But um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. So for anybody that's still here watching, I appreciate y'all. I really have nothing else to say. I don't know how to end this one. <laughs> you know what, here's what I'm gonna leave you guys with. Cause I've got a lot of comments from people wanting to know how to get into the sales profession. And I remember when I was trying to become a sales rep and no one took me seriously. Everyone kind of just shook their head and never really thought it was possible because of my background or whatever it might've been, you know? And so whatever it is that you want to do as part of your career, you really don't need anyone to believe in you, right? You really need to believe in yourself. And then eventually you just need to convince one person to give you a chance and, and that's really all that you need. And I feel like I am a byproduct of that as someone that came in and, and has done very well. So it can be discouraging for sure. It took me a long time to get that opportunity. Uh, but if you're feeling like that, if you're stuck in your career, never feel like it's too late to make a change. I was almost 30 years old. I should have had my stuff figured out and I still don't know what I wanna be when I grow up, you know? Um, all I'm trying to do is get better in my current role and I believe if you're doing that, then new opportunities uh, will present themselves and that's kind of what happened in my case. So I know careers can be very tricky. It's uh, something that can get you down and um, I don't think you ever really figure it out. So that's my two cents. I appreciate everyone being here. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new and I look forward to talking to y'all next time.